Today I want to talk about um, quick mask mode and we'll work on this in class a little bit. So quick mask mode is a way that you can paint in your selection. You're going to use a paintbrush tool and a little um, ruby lift mask and wherever you paint uh, we can choose for that to be our selection. So how we get to quick mask mode is we're going to go down to our toolbar and right here underneath our colors it says edit in quick mask mode the keyboard shortcut is Q so all you have to do is tap the Q key on your keyboard and it'll switch you over to quick mask mode so I'm gonna click this and you'll see our colors now are black and white so if we're painting with black we will be painting in mask or painting on top of our object here and if we paint with white, that's the equivalent of erasing in quick mask mode. Now I'm going to double click on quick mask button down here. And here are our quick mask options. So where I paint will be, uh, I can either choose for the painted area to be the masked area, or I can choose it to be the selected area. I'm, I like to paint where the selected area is, not the masked area. So if I paint here in on the apple and on the stick, that will be the selected area once I'm done. And the color that we're, uh, we paint with will be this color. So I'm going to, since this is a red apple, I'm going to come over here, click on that little square, and I'm going to choose a really high intense green and we want to be able to see through this green color through to our apple so I'm going to change this 50% will probably work but I'll change this down to 35% I'll hit OK <clears throat> now I'm going to turn it on come back over here and click quick mask mode and then I need to go get my brush tool so the keyboard shortcut for brush is B so I'll tap the B key and my brush is huge so what is the quick way and the best way to change the size of our brush it is not bracket keys in my opinion we're gonna hold down control option and drag to the left If I drag to the right it increases and you'll see a little update there in the black rectangle of how big your brush is so I'm going to take this down oh something like that and then I'm going to change the softness a little bit if I drag up and down you'll see that my hardness in that little rectangle is changing and my brush is getting softer and if I drag down it's going to get harder so I want this to be about oh 90 how about 96 percent and then you just start painting in here and you'll see that my color was green 35 percent and I'm just gonna kinda fill this in change the size of my brush and kinda rough rough it in a little bit and I cannot stress enough that when you're creating masks you want to be zoomed in to at least a hundred percent if not more Okay, we want to see our what we're what we're masking in. And now all I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to start painting, and I'm going to use a technique where I just click, and then I'm just going to shift click in real small increments because I can't paint real smooth with a mouse. it's easier for me to just click straight line I'll make sure I have zero spacing on my brush here as soon as I get this all painted in and the biggest problem that I see with students is just trying to mask at a small zoom level and then they zoom in they see that well they didn't get it very tight the first time so 
You might as well get zoomed in, see your image, and try to get as nice of a mask as you possibly can. Because that's going to make a difference in your imaging. And when painting with the brush tool, you want to make sure that your brush tool is 100% opacity and 100% flow. If you don't get this filled in at 100%, then you might get some areas that don't get um, masked out completely. So there's my mask that I painted. Now we can just hit the Q key to exit quick mask mode, or we can just click this button over here, and there is the selection that is left. And we'll just simply create a layer mask, bring our layers in here. So what I want to do is mask out everything but this selection. So on my layer, and in my layers panel, I'll come down here to our mask button and we'll click it. And you'll see now up here we have black hides and white reveals. So we didn't erase anything, all we did was hide our background. And if I right click on it and say disable layer mask, you'll see that our image comes back. You can also shift click on this layer mask to disable it. Alright, I think that's it on Quick Mask. Play with it and um, see how accurate you can get with your masks. Alright, see you later.